and good afternoon everybody hello yes hopefully you can hear me apologies for that slight delay there thank you very much for joining this afternoon uh my name is paul grome and today i'm going to be doing a tutorial and playthrough of intrepid intrepid is a game which is on kickstarter uh right now You're doing very well on kickstarter if you are interested in this game you have a chance to, to go and back this game uh, and yeah today is going to be a tutorial playthrough of the game i'm actually going to be using tabletopia to play the game uh, because it has been put on there uh which is what we're in today now quick couple of things before we start first of all um massive thank you to all of my patron supporters that give me the uh the ability to create videos like this because this is not a sponsored video now i do do sponsored videos to help promote games on kickstarter but the way this one came about is a little bit of an interesting story so i saw a picture of this game posted um by eric yurko from what's eric's playing what's eric's what is eric anyway yeah what what eric playing um go and check it out Twitter, website, everything else, part of Punchboard Media. I looked at it and I went, oh, that looks like the kind of game I like. Um, was looking into it a little bit. And then a couple of weekends ago, I ran my own virtual convention. Uh, and one of my patron supporters reached out to the designer of Intrepid. Um, and it all came about that basically uh, Jeff, who designed the game, uh, or Brewery's Games, donated a copy of the game to the charity raffle. Uh, and I said, well, you know, thank you very much for that in return. I'll basically give you a couple of hours of my time and we'll we'll do a live playthrough on the show. So there you go, that's, that's how this came about. Uh, audio is a bit choppy. Okay, sound has some interruptions. Okay, bear with us a minute. Let me, let me try and fix that. I did have a little technical issue this morning. Uh, so I'm just going to reboot my microphone. Bear with us a minute. Okay, how is that? We are back on. Uh, and yes, Steve is also present. Sound like you're talking underwater. So, crackling on the audio. Hopefully that is fixed. Let me know if that is any better. Uh, I have rebooted my audio equipment. So yeah, let me know if that is any better uh, in the chat. Anyway, today is going to be a tutorial and a playthrough. It's a cooperative game. Uh, I don't know how to play the game. So how am I going to do a tutorial? Well, I've invited Mr. Jeff Beck to join me. Say hello, Jeff. Hey, hello. Thank you very much for, for giving up your time this afternoon. But obviously... Oh, uh, it's <laughs> absolutely my pleasure. Yeah, cool. Um, now, the other thing as well is that those observant ones may notice that my headphones are not in. I can't get my headphones working. So unfortunately, Jeff's audio is actually coming out of my monitor and might get picked up by my microphone. Hopefully it's not too bad, but apologies for that. Jeff is echoing. Right, okay. Shouldn't be should only be once unless that is that is this tabletopia is in the chat um yeah let, let me know if jeff is echoing because if he is uh yeah we're going to have a slight issue i'm basically going to have to mute myself every time so jeff do you want to start talking and tell us a little bit uh, about the game yeah so intrepid is a like you said it's a cooperative game uh a few things that are unique about it it is a completely asymmetric so in the game we have uh there are eight different nations and each nation represents an astronaut that is up on the international space station and there are eight different nations in in the core game and then the expansion which are both on kickstarter and they all play completely differently um so in our game today we're going to be doing two of them but keep in mind there are six others that are that function entirely differently another thing that's unique about this game is it is simultaneous play so we're both going to be doing our thing at the same time, but we're going to need to work together in order to uh, kind of keep things afloat. So as you see here on the board, uh, this uh, center area here represents the, the space station, and we're we'll placing tiles to kind of build out the station. And what we're going to be doing is generating four resources, kind of life-sustaining resources, to keep things afloat, to keep us alive on the station. So we have nutrition, so we can eat. We have oxygen, so we can breathe. We have climate, so we don't freeze to death. And then we have power, so we can keep the lights on. And at the beginning of every round, this little red cube here is going to start in the red on this counter. And if it stays in the red at the end of the round, on any one of these, we're dead. It's game over. We suffocate in space and, you know, bad things happen to us. Right, okay. So we're going to want to make sure that we do that. Now, to make matters worse, uh, there is a disaster that's going on on the station as we're playing. 
there are several disasters in the game. It's kind of a scenario-based game. The disaster we're going to be playing today is called the Meteor Shower, and it's going to be poking little holes into our station as we go on and making just life just a little bit harder for us. Um, so let me give you a quick overview of what a turn looks like, and then we'll dive right in. So at the beginning of the round, we're all going to be rolling our dice. If you take a look at your nation mat here, um, you can just double click on that to pull that up. And it will show you, uh, if you look at the white spaces, th those are going to be little uh, recessed holes on a, a dual layer mat where you can put your cube to keep track of how many dice you're going to be rolling. So at the beginning of the round, you're going to be rolling five, and then eventually you can upgrade to seven, nine, and all the way, or I think you'll be rolling six all the way up to an eight, 10, and all the way up to 12. Um, so you're going to be rolling your dice. You're then going to be placing dice on tiles. So you have a number of tiles here. So you'll be playing the, the German astronaut, and you'll be placing your dice on these tiles. When you do, you're going to immediately trigger an ability. So let's just take a look at one of these tiles here, maybe this one here. Um, so this photovoltaic array one tile, and I should say all of these tiles represent actual technology aboard the space station. So it's, it's pretty cool that this is it's all grounded in, in actual science. Um, so you're going to place a dice on this tile. You can see it has a slot to place one die. And you can see the restrictions there. In this case, it's one through six, meaning you can place any die on this tile. Now, of course, some tiles are much more restrictive. Uh, you know, perhaps need a specific number or a range of numbers. When you place your die on that tile, you're going to immediately do its ability. The ability is down below in the white box. Uh, so in this case, it says roll new dice into storage. And storage is a specific thing to Germany, so we'll talk about that in just a minute. So you're going to immediately trigger that. Um, so a lot of tiles like this one let you get new dice. Some of them let you manipulate dice in different ways. So you're just going to be keep going manipulating your dice, getting new dice, continue to place them until either you're out of dice or you've used up all your tiles. Okay. Once that happens, it'll be time to count up our resources. So you see on that tile uh, to the right, in the yellow in this case, it says it has the, the power symbol plus one. So it's going to generate one power, which we'll then use to move that red cube up and hopefully out of the red. So we'll add up all those up and see how much, see what we did. We'll then calculate our capacity. Capacity is kind of your money in the game. It's what we use to upgrade the station. And capacity is just a simple formula of whatever of the four resources is the lowest. So if we generated 12 power and eight climate and 14 nutrition, but only three oxygen, well then three would be our lowest. So we'd generate three capacity for the round. Um, after we're done figuring out our capacity, we'll flip over a disaster card. We'll see what nastiness it does to us. And then it'll be time to spend our capacity to hopefully uh, kind of triage the problem that we the disaster just caused, and then it'll be time for a new round. Um, now, over the course of the game, what we're ultimately trying to do, if you look over here, uh, we have this card here. This is, this is our mission card. This is what we're going to be trying to accomplish. Now, in a regular game, you're going to be trying to accomplish several of these. In this case, we'll just be doing one as it's kind of a demo just to get us a fill. Uh, but we'll need to be able to accomplish this at some point. So at some point during the game, one of us is going to need to place a one on this card, which will start the mission. And then for the next three rounds in a row, it's going to consume 10 oxygen. Meaning we need to produce t at least 10 above the, green, the red line of oxygen just to stay alive for those three rounds. So we don't want to do that at the beginning because I guarantee we're not going to be able to make that much oxygen at the beginning of the game, but we're going to need to build up toward it so we can accomplish that mission. Um, all right, so let me give you now a quick overview of how Germany works so that you can play your, your country. So Germany, as you saw, you're going to be rolling a bunch of dice. However, unfortunately for Germany, not all those dice are available to use to play. Uh, so let me give you an example of what, how that works. So let's say you roll these dice here. Let me select them and roll them. All right, when you do, the dice all immediately start in storage. In order to get them out of storage, you're going to need to spend an equivalent number of pips. So like, for example, if you wanted to get this six out of storage, you could spend, and when I say spend, I mean it just goes back to your unrolled dice. Uh, you could spend this two and the four, and now the six is out of storage and it's ready to play. 
Uh, vice versa, you could spend a six to get the two and the four out. Okay, so you're going to need to kind of math it out of what to spend to get to what so you could trigger your tiles. Now, some of your tiles let you roll new dice into storage. Other, and this is critical, so I want to point it out. If you look at here, this aluminum shielding tile. Uh, so you need two dice on this, and when you place the two dice, they both need to be placed at the same time because the dice slots are joined. And when you do, you're going to trigger its ability that lets you take a dice from storage. So meaning you can take a dice without spending for it. So if you put the two and the four on that tile, you could then pull perhaps this five out of, you'd want to pull you know, your highest one because those are more expensive. You pull that out and that would now be available for you to use. All right. Um, one other thing to note here is that uh, this top tile, this thermoelectric generator up top of your stack, uh, this is a special boost tile that you see there next to the title that is special to a two player game. Um, it's very critical because as you see, it can generate both power and climate. It kind of makes up for a lack of a partner that you would normally have in a four player game. So making sure that you place, uh, that you get this tile used is very important. It's also important to note that the, the power and climate are going to generate equal to the dice that you place on this tile, All right? So it's not a flat number like some of the other ones we looked at. Instead, whatever dice you place on it is what it's going to generate. So placing a high dice value on that tile is very important. Okay, so because we're playing a two-player game here, it, does this mean I've sort of got responsibility for the climate and the power, and you've got yep. responsibility for the other two? And if this was a four-player game, each player would have one thing that they're responsible for. So in a four-player game, you still are responsible for two. It's more that you have someone who kind of watches your back, right? So in a four-player game, I might be struggling to make oxygen this round because my dice just weren't getting, weren't getting out or what have you. And so, in, so that, but then I might say to my, my associate and say, hey, I'm not very, making very much oxygen. Can you, how are you doing? Can you really boost oxygen to cover for me? And so you have someone to kind of help you out there. In a two-player game, you don't really have that. We'll still be working together, but you are solely responsible for your two resources. Well, you, you say that, but I've got Steve. So, you know, <laughs> if, if anything goes wrong, um, yeah, it's, it's okay, Steve's well, fault. I'm counting on both of you. <laughs> All right. One other thing, and then we can we can play around, which is you can place your dice on your tiles. You cannot place your dice on my tiles. However, we can share dice. So if you look here in the middle, this cross section, we call this the center console. And it allows us to share dice. So we have four slots along the outside called docking modules, and this is how we share dice. And what we're going to do is, let's say, uh, you needed a six, you didn't have one, I had an extra six. You said to me, hey, Jeff, do you got a six? I said, no problem. I would take my dice, that's a six that you needed. I'd drop it here. You would then take one of your dice, one of your unrolled dice, set it to a six, and now that dice is just available to you to use. And so we can share up to four dice in any given round. Exactly. So, so sharing dice is, is very critical. And so if, if you see that you need something, make sure to call it out because working together is a big part of this game. Um, so, so we can, anyone can place in those four outer edges. And then also in the middle there, the habitation module, that's your, where you're going to place any unused dice. So if at the end of a round, you have all your tiles full, you have nothing left to do, you can drop any unused dice into that habitation module and we'll get a little bit of a boost it's not very efficient it's not as good as a regular tile but it's a little boost to kind of help us out okay right all right uh okay any other questions uh no i don't know let's let's jump in so yeah so for those people watching yeah i i the the extent of the rules that i know about the game is what i've just got from jeff so i'm definitely going to be learning as i go here and jeff's going to be taking the lead and telling me uh, what it is that i should be doing <laughs> absolutely all right, yeah, let's let's just play around and see if we can avoid, uh, you know, suffocating the space. Oh, and I've just realized I was muted while I said that. So what I was saying is, um, because of the audio issues I'm having here, 
Um, I'm, I'm finding it tricky to keep switching between my broadcasting software and the game. So occasionally you are going to hear some um, uh, some audio echoing from Jeff because his sound is being picked up by my microphone. Nothing I can do about that today, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I've been having various audio issues on the computer for the last few days that I've not been able to get to the bottom of, and I'm not sure why. Right then. All right, well, I think let's go ahead and roll. Uh, so yeah, grab your, your six dice. So is this simultaneous? We both roll at the same time? That's right. Okay. Uh, strike them, roll them. Oh, no, didn't want to do that. Yeah, you don't want to roll your board. <laughs> I've just rolled the board. So that means it's probably not where it should be. Uh, there you go, is that it? There you go. Okay, right. So I've rolled. So these are all in storage. That's right. Okay. So now you're going to need to think about how to get them out and, you know, what you want out, what you mm -hmm. want to do. So, you know, it, it might be worthwhile to kind of get a feel for your tiles, kind of what they need, uh, so you can make a plan of what, what dice you want to get out. So the option, just go through the options again with me for my dice. I can place them onto these parts here. That's, that's your primary responsibility in this case yeah. this is how you're going to generate your climate and your power yeah okay so uh, and i can here. also put them in the middle if you need them for something yeah if we need to share dice we can place them here there, there yeah. are a few other places we can place dice but for right now that's probably the, the most important okay so if i just talk through what i'm doing and let's see if this works i'm because this is a really good tile this thermoelectric generator i'm going to put my five on there but to do that i need to buy the five that's so right. i'm going to do that get it, get it out by spending a two and a three and then the five can go on there. Yep. Now, uh, now check out the ability of that tile. Yeah. So it's ah uh, roll a new die. Okay. And, and note it does not say roll a new die into storage. So that that boost tile, boost tile is made to work with anyone's. Uh, right. Any country. So when you roll that dice, that dice will be outside of storage. It'll be ready right. to use. Okay. So I take this die, roll it. It's a four. So that generates four power and four climate. And I've got a four dice well, to so use. Is that five? Because it's going to generate based on the dice you placed on it. Not oh the right, okay. Dice. So we move this up. Yeah, and we and we'll actually count those up kind of when we're done with everything. Oh, okay, right. Um, right. So I've got a four basically. Um, right. So now you know you got you got lots of other tiles to think about, and uh, you know, but but kind of planning out which ones you want to pull out so you can do what. Ooh, and again, right. I can help you with, with tiles if there's something you need. Or with dice, sorry. So this aluminium shielding, or oh, sorry, uh, 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 is it aluminum? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I've heard it both ways. Yeah. Um, so I'm British, so I'll say aluminium. So this aluminium shielding, I put two dice in there between values two and five. That's right. Then I take a die from storage. Oh, sorry. The, the sum of those dice plus six is how much climate we get. And so I get to so take a die from storage. Flat six. So oh, flat six. So have the dice icon. Right. It's just plus six. So it's okay. just going to generate six climate. Uh, now that's not actually that great. Or is it? I could put a four and a three in. Yeah, so it, let's just go through this. If I put a four, a three on there and a four on there, that was a four. That was definitely a four. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Paul. I don't know what's happened with it. You can be trusted. It was definitely a four. Why is it not flipping over? Uh, sometimes, it, if, sometimes it gets quirky here in, tabletop, or in Tabletopia. If you re-roll it, and then you can then you can set it. There you go. Right. So that was a four. Um, so that's going to generate me six climate, and I can take a die from storage. So I can take this four. Uh huh. Oh, but I needed to buy those first, didn't I? Yeah, you do need. You yeah, need to I didn't. I didn't buy out. them. Now, you, you did have one of the fours out, because that was the one you rolled from your thermoelectric generator. So one of those you have available to you. Oh, and that, that's already mine. Right. Oh, okay. So these are still in storage. Right. Um, also, I do have another dice that I can share with you, if you like, which is a six. Okay. So that'd be cool. So with that six, I can and now take... will also be out of storage. So that one right, will be okay. Okay, so I've got I've got a six. 
And now what I can do is I could spend this. Oh, I could have actually put the six on here. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to spend the six. I'm going to put it on there. Mm -hmm. That is going to generate me six power, but also I get to re-roll the die in storage. So I'm going to re-roll the one. There you go. We got a five. Right. Um, if I then spend... If I spend this four to buy the three, I then put the three and the four on there. That allows me to then take a die from storage, which will be that one, which I can then put on there. Yep. There you go. I think we're good. Perfect. Jeff's audio is pretty low. Yes. Perfect. So unfortunately, I, I turned Jeff down a bit to try and reduce the echo. Um, but it's... Uh, so bear with us a minute. If I can just... If I can up the volume that's broadcast out to you, but not change the volume that's broadcast out to me, will that work? Okay. Uh, well, it's better. Yeah, uh, I'm also, obviously, my broadcasting software can be a little glitchy, and it looks like it's just crashed. So, um, oh, no. yeah, <laughs> it doesn't like, even just setting audio, it doesn't like that. So, um, yeah, uh, back in a min i'll just put a post in the chat yeah i mean literally just 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 trying to adjust the audio volume has <laughs> has crashed the software at some point i do need to switch to obs because it's it's painful yeah it really that is sounds, that sounds pretty brutal yeah i mean obs is, is quirky as well i've used it a little bit yeah yeah but this is this is just insane <laughs> I yeah. mean, Hopefully we are back on. So apologies for that. Um, even just adjusting the volume in my broadcasting software, it didn't seem to like it. So I've boosted Jeff a bit. Hopefully he's a bit louder. Uh, let me know. Let me know. Um, right. So where were we? We've placed all of our dice. Yeah. So now it's time to go ahead and count up your resources. Mm -hmm. So let's go through mine first, just to make sure I've got this right. So my yeah. aluminium shielding is six on the climate. So it yep. goes to three. That's right. Uh, the uh, photovoltaic array 2 is power equal to the value of the dice, which is 6. Yep. So that goes up to 3. Uh, photovoltaic array 1 is just 1 power, no matter what dice I put on there. Is that right? That is correct, yep. Okay, right. So me putting the 5 on there was a, a little bit of a waste. And then finally, the thermoelectric generator is... Uh, power and climate equal to the value of the dice I put on there. So that's five more. So we've got five of them, five of them. I'm just going to check the chat to see if we're back. Jeff is better. Sounds like it's coming from Houston. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's thematically appropriate. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm struggling to hear you because I've turned my audio down, um, but I can just, just about hear you. So, okay, so let's go through your dice, see what's okay. happened over here. Yeah, so, I, so my... Photobioreactor chamber works similar to your uh, thermoelectric mm -hmm. generator. So it's going to be give me oxygen and nutrition equal to the dice value. So that's six. Yep. And then here, this oxygen storage tank, it's going to generate one oxygen per dice I place on it. So okay. not a ton of oxygen, but it kind of allows me to, to otherwise use my tiles that I couldn't use because of how Brazil works, where they're t unlike you, where your dice start in storage my tiles start locked up and I have to unlock them through different right. tiles. Okay. So, uh, and then over here, we have the food locker. It's going to generate six nutrition because I've placed two dice on it. And then over here, we have uh, this oxygen storage tank two. It's going to generate oxygen equal to the dice value. So that's four. Okay. So at the end of the day, I have nine. I'm at nine for my nutrition and I'm at eight for my oxygen. Mm-hmm. And I'm at eight for the climate and nine for the power. So, yeah, fairly fairly average for them. Yeah, well, that's, that's a great first round. So now we go ahead and advance our capacity up to eight. Okay. Okay, and now before we spend it, it's time to flip over a disaster card and see what we have to deal with. So you, me you told me this here. journey would be safe. Nobody <laughs> mentioned the disasters. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention that. All right. <laughs> System impact. We're going to roll the disaster dice three times. We're going to hit all tiles in the sector equal to the disaster dice that we roll. Okay. So what that means is so that the meteor shower is starting to hit the station. 
And just like in real life, we're not worried about giant asteroids that, you know, because because NASA's really good at tracking those, and, you know, yeah. we, we can avoid those. What we're worried about is more of these micrometeorites that are just going to poke little teeny holes into the station. And what they're going to do is they're going to make our technology just a little less efficient. Okay. So we're going to roll this dice. We've got an eight. Okay. So what that means, we're going to grab some cubes, and we're going to drop them on all the tiles in uh, row eight there. Right. Okay. Do that again. We got a two, so we're going to hit one of mine. And one more time. We got a five, All right, which that's we missed, so that, that's great news for us. All right, right, okay. So what those little black cubes mean, um, for each cube on a tile, it's going to produce one less in total. Right. Okay. So like in future rounds, your, you know, your uh, aluminum shielding, as you say, it's yep. going to produce five <laughs> instead of four, six. Right, okay. And then if it gets hit again, it's going to produce four and on and on. Now, if it ever gets four cubes on it, that tile is shut down, meaning you can no longer place dice on it. Okay. Uh, if you ever gets to five, that tile is destroyed and is removed from the game. Okay. So things are going to get worse, but it'll get worse a little slowly. So, you know, we got time to deal with it. Yeah. All right. So that's the disaster. I should say that's a level one disaster card. They're going to get worse because at okay. level one we go to level two, all the way down to level four where things just are going haywire. Right. Okay. Um, all right. So now time to spend our capacity. There's several things we can spend capacity on. First thing you can do is you can buy tiles. You'll see over here next to your resource wheel, you have four tiles laid out. These are your tier one tiles. Yep. You can buy any one of those. Uh, if you pull one up, take a look at it. Um, for example, is hydrogen fuel cell two tile. You can see the price is in the top left, so it seven. costs seven capacity to purchase this tile and add it to the station. Yeah. When you do, you see below that seven, it's it has the nutrition symbol minus two, which means it's going to add two to the drain on nutrition. So instead of starting at negative three, we're going to start at negative five for from here on out. Right. Now that's not a big deal because it's only minus two, and I can offset that by buying a different tile myself. But it's just something to keep in mind, and this is another point where we need to coordinate. You know, so if you really wanted that tile, you would say to me, "Hey Jeff, I'm going to buy this, but can nutrition handle it?" And I'd say, "Oh, no problem. Nutrition's fine. Go right ahead." Okay. Uh, so that's one thing you can do. The second thing you can do is you can upgrade a tile. Any tile in the station can be upgraded just by flipping that tile over. That costs five capacity to do, but it just generally becomes better in some way. Okay. Uh, you know, it could produce more resources, it could be more flexible with the dice, it might have a cooler ability, you know, what have you. Uh, then the last thing you can do is you can buy dice. So if you look at your nation mat there, you'll see that right now you roll six dice, but yep. if you spend four capacity, you'll go up to eight. And then eight. if you spend yep. five, you go up to ten, and then if you spend six, you go up to twelve. Okay. So more dice is, is helpful, but really only if you have places to put dice. If you don't have, you know, if you're kind of out of tiles, it's not really that helpful. Okay. Uh, now, one thing you know, you only have tier one tiles. There are tier two, three, and four tiles that we can unlock. If you look at this little mat here above right. the center okay, console, yep. that's how we're going to unlock, a, you know, additional tier of tiles. Right. So we don't have anything unlocked right now. We only have tier one, but we, you know, we could think about unlocking tier two at some point because those are much better. Right. So I guess we discuss how we're best spending the eight capacity, um, and we can't carry this over from one round to the next. It, so capacity does carry over. It does. So yeah, okay. Anything you don't spend will it will it will stick around. Right. Now one okay. other thing we can do during this phase, if you look at your your two resource wheels, you'll see that little sticky note up top. Mm -hmm. We call those career abilities. So uh, everyone has, has a certain career, you know, maybe the, the payload specialist or, or what have you aboard the station. Okay. And it gives you a certain ability, some way that you can make a little sacrifice to help someone else. Right. Right? Like, for example, if you look at climate, you can transfer all effects from one tile to an active tile of your own. What that means is you can transfer all the negative effects. So, like, if, if my tile just got hit really hard by the disaster, and boy, that tile is just super critical for me, you could say to me, hey, Jeff, don't worry about it. I got it. You could pull all the black cubes off of that tile, move it onto one of your tiles. Right. Now, it's making life a little harder for you, but you're helping me out. Okay. 
So like I have an ability that I can transfer up to three capacity to another player. So if, if you're looking at something that's you know a little more expensive, but you're like, boy, I wish I could, you know, if I only had three more capacity, I could get this tile. You could let me know, and I could pick that up. Right. And I could transfer the capacity to you, and then you could you could you could. I think it. I just accidentally rotated your uh, wheel. It happens, no worries. <laughs> now I just noticed here you've got your own capacity as well. That's right. Yeah. So each of us have capacity independent of each other. Ah, right. Okay. So my eight is for me to spend, and your eight is for you to spend. Exactly. Yep. Right. Okay. Um, well, I think I'm going to buy myself a new. Uh, how do we get rid of these damage cubes? So damage cubes are are fairly permanent. You can spend five capacity to repair a tile, and it will just remove one cube off of it. Wow. So it's very expensive. Yeah. You really only want to do it if that tile is super critical to you. Right. Um, but, but generally, you know, on the station, if a tile gets hit, we're, you know, we're right in the middle of disaster. We don't really want to spend time fixing it. We more want to try and get other things online to compensate. Yeah. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend full capacity to buy some extra dice. Okay. Always a good move. Yeah, I mean, because I used pretty much all of my dice on here, but I was reliant on you, I'm hoping that because I have to buy my dice... Having more dice than I need is probably good and going to be good. All right. Well, I am going to actually upgrade one of my tiles. I'm going to upgrade my photobioreactor chamber. Uh, and what that does, just you know, for those watching at home, when I use that tile now, uh, so normally it, it gives me oxygen and nutrition based on the dice I place on it. But upgraded, it now just makes six no matter what dice I place on it. So I don't have right. to worry about rolling a six anymore, which is you know a, a load off of stress. All right, so that's going to cost me five. This leaves me with three, which I don't really have. There's something to do with three. Uh, but I could transfer some more to you if you wanted to purchase a tile or upgrade a tile. I could transfer you a little bit of capacity. Oh, we can transfer capacity to each other. Well, I have a, I have a special ability that lets me do that. Ah, okay. Well, you can't. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, if you're happy to transfer one over to me. Happy to. Yep, there you go. Then that means I can buy one of these. What should I buy? Hydrogen fuel cell... <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, hydrogen fuel cell one. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. So I'm just going to buy this and I'm going to pop it in here. Okay. So now when you bought that, you can see the, uh, the icon, the oxygen minus two. So that means I'm going to spin my wheel here for oxygen. Right. Okay. So that's where you spin the wheels. Around, which is, that's fine. Yeah. You know, we, we, can, we can handle that. But just okay. something to, you know, kind of be aware of how it works. Yep. Uh, okay. uh, quick question coming from the chat from John. He said he couldn't find this in the rule book, but he's wondering what the coloured circles are on the resource wheels. Yes. So, uh, great question. There are bonuses that you can unlock if you get your uh, one particular resource to a, a high enough level. Right. Okay. Um, so, generally, you want all the resources to, to advance at a similar level because that's mm -hmm. your capacity is going to be based on the lowest. But, but you can focus, kind of double down on one resource to try and get it up to a bonus that can really help you, you know, right. when, when you're in a pinch otherwise. All right. Yeah, so let's go ahead and reset for the round and do the next round. So you got your dice back. Now go ahead and move your red cubes back to the first space. Yeah. And then we re-roll some. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh. <laughs> there we go. Right. Okay. So low numbers. All right. Um, now I do have a six. And again, since I upgraded my photovoltaic or my photobioactor reactor, um, I don't necessarily need this six. So I could share that with you sure. for one of your tiles that needs a high number. Yep. Uh, especially if you could share one back with me. Yeah. So re so you put a six on there, which means I get a six That's right. out of there, which immediately gets set to a six. Yep. Uh, now, I, I can't share dice that are in storage, I guess. No, you need to get them out of storage before you can share them. That's yeah, so if, I'm gonna, if I spend that six to buy two threes, are you saying that you want one of these threes? Possibly, or you go ahead and do your thing, and I'll tell you if I need something. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, so I've got this new hydrogen fuel cell one, which requires a one to three, roll a new die into storage. Okay, I'm probably going to use that for a one. So I'm going to use this three to buy a one and a two. That was a one. That was definitely a one. <laughs> sure, that was a one. Let me watch the feedback because I've, I've got the YouTube feed playing on here. So I'm just going to watch it back to see what was going on there. I've, I've noticed in Tabletopia that sometimes if a dice tilts, like if it uses a physics engine, then Tabletopia kind of forgets what number it was. Yeah. And, and so it does these weird, yeah. these weird things. Yeah, I picked up a one and it changed to a two. So, yeah. That would be yeah. my guess what happened. So I'm going to spend the one on here, uh, which allows me to roll a new die into storage. Okay, I just need to move these down so that I don't get them mixed up. Oh, there you go. It's just done it again. Yeah, the dice are changing. Um which is really odd. Well, hopefully Tabletopia are watching and can see this happening, but yeah, the dice do seem to be changing of their own accord. So I'm going to roll a new dice and put it into storage, which is this one. Ah, got a six. Now, how do I get a dice from storage? That was... Reroll a die in storage. Roll a new die, that's what we need to do. So I'm probably going to put... Yeah, take a die from storage. That was it. I need to put a two and a so. That's that. That two is going to go there. That three is going to go there. That allows me to take a die from storage. So I'm going to take the six. Um, I am then going to use that six to buy these two threes. Okay. Um, and then... I'm going to put the three onto there, which allows me to roll a new die into storage. Which is a two. Justin, oh. you saw the six I transferred over to you? I did not, no. Uh, no, I think I used that. That was like right at the start. Yeah, I used that six. Okay. To buy two threes. And then, uh, and the problem is, I'm, I'm yeah. <laughs> now, I can... I can re-roll a die in storage. The problem is, yeah, I don't have much left. And I've, I've messed up on this one. So... Well, now yeah, one thing I, to keep in mind, that the six I gave you was outside of storage. It was, could, but... Yeah, I, so, I then used it to buy two threes. I see. So you, um, okay. Yeah, in the well, hope that... No problem. That would do something, but it doesn't look like this as well. So I could spend this three to buy a one and a two, but actually, yeah, and re-rolling dice in storage for me is actually not that great. Now, is that is that three also in storage right now? Uh, no. So this this is my storage here. Uh, I, in fact, I'll put it on here. So these are these are dice that I've bought. So yeah. So what 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 you might consider doing is placing the three on one of your tiles, and then, um, but you know, I'd go ahead and roll that re-roll that one. Because then, you know, hopefully it's it's a two or greater, and then you could spend whatever it is to get the two out to then place that one. Yeah, when you just... Spend, when you spend dice, I don't know if you've been doing this this way, but when you spend dice, the dice you spend are in storage as well, usually. Yeah, that that I did that right last round, but this round I've done it completely wrong. <laughs> this this round I have actually been spending dice that I've already bought from storage, which is yeah, why so you're kind of spending for them twice in that case. Which... Yeah, I think the safest thing to do is for me to just do this one again. No problem. Because <laughs> I've completely <laughs> messed this up. Um, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight dice. Right, let's do it right this time. It is a learning game. So there's my eight yep. dice, and you've given me a six. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What I was doing is I was spending this to buy these dice. And that's wrong. Right. Do not do that. <laughs> that would be very expensive. <laughs> well, that, that's why I suddenly ran out of dice and went, wait a minute, this can't be right. Um, right. So, yeah, so if I want to buy, I'm going to spend a five, which has instantly changed to a three, but it was a five, we and a four, five. to buy a six and a three. There you go. This is more Brilliant. like it. Very good. I like, I like the math there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to spend that four to buy another four. 
Um, right, I think I'm going to spend the six on the big one. Okay. Remember when you uh, do that one, you get to roll new dice, which is yeah. outside of storage. So I'm going to take a new dice and roll it. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Um, because I can... Yeah, I can just put it on the photovoltaic array one because that only gets one energy anyway. So right. one's fine. Um, and that allows me to roll a new dice into storage. There you go. Um, okay, so I've then got... Uh, da, 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 da. Let's... Yeah, I'm going to spend put the three onto there. Which lets me roll a new die into storage. There you go. Um, then I'm going to spend the six. No, I'll spend. Yeah, I'll spend the four on here, which is re roll a die in storage, which is that one. Then I'm going to spend. Um, spend the four to get a four. Now at this point, I think I'm going to have excess dice, so I can definitely give you something if you want it. Okay, or or you can always drop it in the middle. I have one spot left, but it only produces one. So it's okay. Not so I, so remind me what the middle does. So for every dice we place in the middle, it's going to yeah. add one to one resource. But they all need to go to the same resource. So generally, like if you know, for example, if we had three dice in the middle, and we we discover that. Oxygen is the lowest, we could add three to oxygen. Right, okay. Well, I've got a six here that's not doing anything, so I think... Oh, I mean, that can be a one to a six. Yeah, so that, that can be anything. That would be great. I'll I guess that. I can't unlock tier four no, until... They, they don't. they don't stay around around. Yeah. Um, and you're saying you can't use a six at all? Nope, I don't, don't need a six. Okay, so yeah, I'll just, I'll just put that on there. Yeah, um, that's great. Now then, um, so if I use the five to buy a three, I can then put the four and the three on here, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to be able to use the the bottom ability, but I will generate six climate. Right. So I think we'll do that. So that's going to go on there. Done. All right. Right. Perfect. We're good. Let's go ahead and count them up. Yep. Uh, so let's do this. So that's six. Now keep in mind, it's going to be 6 minus 1 because of the black cube. Ah, yes. So 6 to 6, uh, so that's 11. 1 to 3, so that goes an 8. And then power is 4 minus 1, so that's 3. 4, that's 8. Plus 6 is 14. So 14 onto there, so 1, 2, 3, and that goes on to 11. All right. Okay, Great. right. And I made 6 to 6. Okay. So right, eight so is my lowest. My lowest is a five. So we both get five. Yeah. So what are we what are we weak on then? What do we need to boost? So it was definitely oxygen. Uh, right. Unfortunately, my oxygen tile got hit, and we drained oxygen a little bit. To yeah. Get your new tile out. So it's fine. Okay. We can definitely handle that this round. But first, we got to see what we got here. Oh. Oh dear. How lucky are we? We got oxygen <laughs> leak. <laughs> All right. So we're going to roll the disaster dice one time. We're going to hit all tiles in the sector that's equal to the disaster dice and the disaster dice plus one. For each oxygen tile hit, add one to the oxygen drain. Right, okay. So hopefully we just won't hit any oxygen tiles. But let's see what we got. Okay, we got eight. And uh, unfortunately that eight wraps up to a one. Yeah. So it's going to hit yours again. And it's going to hit both of mine, which is going to hit one oxygen tile. So both of my ones in eight get hit. Okay, and both of mine in okay. one get hit. Right. And uh, we need apparently to I did one. mine the wrong way round. Yes, you're right. I did mine the wrong way round. Thank you. There you go. All right. No problem. Okay. So yeah. So oxygen got really hammered there. So that's okay. We just need to figure out how we're going to produce a bunch more oxygen in this round. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, but you did unlock those tier two tiles. I did. So that is fantastic. Yeah, so you can go ahead and find it. Should be the top stack of your tiles there. And you can just spread all those out. Okay. And can you upgrade tiles from one to another? Uh, so you can. You can. Well, you can upgrade a tile by flipping it over. Yeah, you can sorry, also, I meant replace you it. Want a tile, you can discard it. Okay. You know, if it's not doing you any good anymore. Well, I'm thinking if it's really damaged, I can get rid of it and put a new one in. You definitely can, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm looking here, and uh, none of these have a lot of capacity. Now, uh, one one ability you have, if you look at the the sticky note there above your your power. Yeah. Uh, so you have a cool ability where you can transfer drain from a resource to power. So where you're already generating just a, a ton of power, I yep. think that was our best resource. One thing we might want to do, and this of course would be up to you because you're in charge of power, but we could transfer two of the drain from oxygen and move that onto power, uh, which would definitely help where it's struggling right now. Absolutely. So I've done that. I've increased the drain by two. All right. Fantastic. Yeah, that, that helps a lot. Okay. Nice. See, look at, look at that teamwork. Love yeah. It. So that is the ability of the power thing rather than the Germans. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that, that ability is always in the game because well, it, so it's... In, in the final game, those are going to be modular. Oh, right. Uh, okay. There are a bunch of them. And so before you start the game, you kind of pick which ones everyone wants. So. Nice. Right. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to... I'm going to get this one here. Okay. Uh, now, it's interesting right. because obviously the, the modules that I build drain your stuff. Right. And I guess the modules that you build drain my stuff. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah. so this is, you know, there definitely needs to be some level of coordination. So, um, is that... so we might want to undo what we just did with draining power because the tile I'm, I'm buying is going to drain power. So, but, you know, you tell me if you think you can handle two more or if you want to push more back. I, I, I think I can handle two more. Okay. If I get it the right way around. Yeah, there we go. Um, because I'm probably going to try and play something that generates power. Uh, yeah. Are you okay to lose two food? Oh, no, that's seven. Hang on. Oh, and that's eight. Mm. Uh, let's look at... Um, I can take the dice off now, can't I? Yeah, you can, yeah. Yeah, let's look at upgrading one of these. Yeah, I think that's a good move. Ooh, oh, I see. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, so the upgrade for that is really good, especially for Germany, because you don't have to worry about getting a six anymore. Yeah, it's basically a one will generate six of each. Exactly. Yeah, and I think I'm, I might upgrade this one first. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I've spent five capacity, and I've upgraded the photovoltaic array. Okay. So that's going to generate more power. Perfect. Okay, right. All right, make sure to take your uh, yellow dice back here from the, the unlock map as well. And how do we mark that we've done that? Or oh, we don't? Sorry. We, uh, for right now, we just move this, this little white cube here. Okay. So I've unlocked tier two for both of us. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and I should say, I mean, it's probably pretty obvious, but all these parts are, are prototype level parts. None of this art yeah. is final or anything like that. Have you actually got images of the final stuff on your Kickstarter page? Uh, some of them, yes. Like we, we right. show an example of what a tile will look like, and it you know looks a million times better. Yeah. Um, but but we are still it's still in the works a little bit. Okay. Right. right. Are we on round three? We are. Let's, uh, so go ahead and reset your red cube there as well. Yeah. And make sure to put it all the way back to the, the first leftmost space. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's right. an interesting mechanism how you've represented. The power drain with the moving of the cube and the spinning of the dial it, it works quite well yeah it was, it was a clever idea i have a, a ui uh designer that helped me with that his name's right. gunther and he, he came up with it so he's he's, yep. he's a smart guy right off we go then eight okay, dice yeah. let's see okay that's three 
So I think I'm going to spend a six to get a six. I'm then going to spend a one to get a one. Um, because I can use ones quite easily. Um, okay, well, I'm, I'm totally using the six on here. Yeah, that's a good move. Now, do you have... I am in a situation where I could really use a, a three or a four. Okay, I can um, do that. And I have a, a six, if that would be useful for you. Okay, well, I'm going to spend a six to buy a four and a two. That was a four. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's doing that weird thing again. Okay, and then what I do is I just put the four on here so you can use it. Yeah, that's it. And do you need a six? Um, not at the moment. Okay, well, I'll, I'll hang on to the six. Yeah. But it's there if you need it. Uh, I'm going to spend a one and put it on there. That allows me to roll a new die into storage. Okay, nice. Uh, right, so I need to be using this, don't I? Yeah, so I'm going to put that two on there, which is a roll a new die into storage. Oh, big numbers. Um, spend a five to buy a four. Spend a six to buy a five. That was a five. Um, okay, right. So, need to work out what's going on here. I'm going to get in six power and six. Ah, yeah, but my drain is minus seven. So, that's six. That's going to generate me four. Four, so that's going to be 11 power, 12, 13, minus the 7. So that's 6. Climber, I'm going to be generating 6. So that's 3. So I, yeah, I definitely need more climate. So it's probably going to be... Yeah, I think I'm going to do the same as I did last time. Unless you need... No, I, so I'm good. In fact, I have a 1 and a 6 if you need either or both of those. <sighs> Uh, I'd happily take a one. Okay. Uh, but then again, now hang on. Um, yeah, if I take a one, that's just going to generate extra power, and we don't. I don't think I need the extra power because uh, that's going to be a four. Big deficit on power. Yeah, I'm just working this out at the moment. This is going to generate me four climate, and that's going to generate me six climate, which is ten. That's going to put us on seven. Uh -huh. Whereas power, I've got six, ten. 12 minus the 7 is 5. Yeah, okay. Yeah, a 1 would be good. All right. There you so go. So I'll take a 1, and I just put it on there, and I can roll a new die into storage, but I can't do anything with it. So. Right, it's kind of stuck there. We're good. All right, so you, so you don't need the 6, so I will go ahead and drop it here in the middle. Unless you need um, it. Scott is asking, is that Heiko of Cambridge Games Factory that's doing the... that came up with the suggestion? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Okay. No, it's Heiko Gunther. He's done artwork with ver for various games, if, if, it's, if we're talking about the same person. Oh, then, then perhaps, yeah, it is Heiko Gunther. Yeah, right. he has done artwork on various games. Yeah. Is he doing anything else to do with this game? Uh, he's, do he's doing all the UI work. So all right. the, all the icon iconography, you know, things yeah. of that nature. Cool. Right, so uh, where were we up to? Yes, yeah, so that's six power, ten power... 14 power. So that goes up to 7. And climate is 6 minus 2, so that's 4, 10. Putting me on. There we go, 7 of each. Perfect. All right, yeah, very good. All right, I, I also have a 7. Um, so we do have one in the middle, which could go to 1, but since we have three of them that are at 7, it, it doesn't matter. Kind of moot where it goes. Yeah. Okay. So we made 7. That's pretty good. So capacity is 7. And now, so now you can see we are going into level. Oh, two we're in level two's part. already. Oh yeah, we don't we don't waste any time here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, coolant link. We're gonna roll a disaster dice one time. We're gonna hit all tiles in the sectors equal to disaster dice, disaster dice plus one, and disaster dice plus, plus two, 
and we're just going to add two to the climate drain right off okay. the bat. Okay. I'll do the climate drain. Okay, I'll roll this disaster dice for us. All right. Oh boy, we're we're getting hit hard here. So it's going to hit uh, rows eight, one, and two. Ouch. Well, I think I know what I'm doing with this aluminum storage. <laughs> it's going to get replaced. I assume if you upgrade a tile, it's still damaged? It is, yeah. All right, okay, yeah. Time to say goodbye to my aluminum storage. Okay, and is that what we're doing next? Is it spending capacity? Yeah, so now it's time to spend capacity. Okay, so let's say goodbye to that. Sorry, aluminium steel shielding it was. Um, and I think, ah, oh, now the problem is that's a climate one. And that cost eight. Okay. So I can, if you need some more capacity, I can send you some. Um, one would be good. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Because then I can buy this. And I can pop it in there. Because we're not going to roll any more eights, are we? <laughs> no, <laughs> we're done with that now. Um, so food has just dropped down by two, if you can handle that. Okay. That should be fine. And am I, am I dropping anything down? Uh, no, I don't think I'll buy a new tile. I think what I'm going to do is, is upgrade a tile. I'm just going to decide which one I want to upgrade. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay. So that cost me five. All right, so I'm ready to roll. Um, just before we do, mm -hmm. this ability of the climate, I could transfer all effects from one tile to an active tile of your own. Could I transfer some of the black cubes from here onto this one, which would then destroy it? You could. In fact, before you destroy that aluminum shielding, you could do that and then just, you know, destroy it as opposed to just pulling it off uh, at your election. Um, yeah, okay, well, let's do that then. So which, which one of those do you want to clear up? Uh, in that case, let's, I mean, I just upgrade this one, so let's clear this guy up right here. Okay. Uh, nice. I appreciate that. Nice call. Okay. Right. I think we're on the next round. Okay. Now, okay. Re I, I remember you've covered how we lose. Mm -hmm. How do we win? Right. So our way to win is with this mission card over here. That was it. Uh, yes. So we need to satisfy that card for three rounds. And it's going to consume 10 oxygen. So at some point, we really need to get our oxygen cooking. Um, so in fact, since you since you transferred those damage tiles from there, I think what I'm going to do instead is upgrade this oxygen tile, which will get us a little bit closer to that mission. Right. So that's 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 not ten oxygen over three rounds. That's ten oxygen around round. for three rounds. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. And, okay. And keep in mind if that if that minus ten pushes us back into the red, we still lose. So we, we lose. We've got to make sure we're we're really stamping it out. Yeah. Okay, right, here we go then. Let's roll some more dice. Right, off we go. So, okay. I will spend the six to buy two threes. I will then place a three. Ooh, may combine two dice in storage. That's pretty good. Ah, there you go. So you're, you're unlocking the, the cooler abilities. Yeah, but I think first I will have to roll a new die into storage, roll a new die into storage, roll a new die. Uh, let's put it on there first, roll a new die into storage. Okay, it's a one. Um, I will then use this three to buy a two and a one, and then I'll use that one to put that on there which is roll a new die into storage. Okay. Low numbers a go-go here. Um, I'll then spend the two, putting it on there. Roll a new die into storage. Oh, it's another two. <laughs> um, I have 
a five and a six that I'm happy to share with you. Okay. Uh, yeah, the six would be good. Sure, absolutely. You can have both of them, in fact, if you need. Okay, thank you. So I'll have the six and I'll put it on there. Um, and let's take the five and yeah, let's see where we're going to put the five. Um, but first off, I mean, I've got all of these. So I think I'm going to spend those two twos to buy a four. And then I'm going to put the four, which has transmogrified itself into a six, onto there, which allows me to combine two dice in storage. But I don't think we want to do that. No. No, I don't think I want to do that. Um, I can then spend the five and put it on there, although that is only two power. The other option is I could unlock tier three. I mean, do you need any dice? No, no, I'm good. All right, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I could, we could just unlock tier three. Yeah, I mean, tier three are, are get, getting much better even. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. Um, I can use the three to buy the one, and then I can put the one on there, which does absolutely nothing at all. But you know, <laughs> you know I mean, in that case, you might as well drop it in the middle. Oh, that's true. And it will compensate if you know if something's really struggling. Yeah, yeah, cool. Right, I didn't move the cubes back. Right then, off we go. All right, let's count it up. Yeah, so that is six on both. I'm going to do it. One at a time this time. There we go. Right, that one is four power. One, two, three, four. Uh, this one is two power for each dice placed, so that's another four. One, two, three, four. This one is, oh, power equal to, the, uh, sorry, climber equal to the dice plus four. So that's actually eight. Nice, so that goes up to ten. Um, yeah, okay. And then we've unlocked tier three. All right, yeah, very good. So I've got a seven and lowest? a 10. Okay, well, I also, I actually have a seven and a 12, so we're right neck and neck. Yeah, but it does mean that this dice in the middle isn't doing anything. Yeah, it's true, but. Okay. You know, but it, it was, it's more of a, an insurance policy. Yeah, you know? yeah. Right, so okay. we have seven capacity. Yep. Uh, and we've unlocked tier three, yeah, so pull those out. Which, yeah, now we're getting into some some real fun stuff. Oops. Yeah, these are quite expensive. They they do progressively get more expensive, but yeah, but they do get more powerful. So and again, we can we can I can transfer some capacity if you're looking at something. Yeah, or I can transfer some to you because you've been giving me some stuff recently. So if there's anything you want. No problem. Okay, so now we have a new uh, disaster card that we're going to look at first. Now this oh, is that this first? Card yes. This is a persistent card, meaning it's going to trigger every round and until we resolve it. Okay. All right, so what? first let's talk about what the card does. We're going to roll the disaster dice one time. It's going to hit all sectors equal to disaster dice, disaster dice plus one, and the dice plus two. Mm -hmm. So it's going to hit three three rows. We can prevent it, meaning next round, if we don't want it to happen, we can place any one die on here, and it'll, get yep. rid of, and it'll prevent it. If we place a four, very specifically, on this card, it will resolve it, meaning it's gone. We don't right. have to worry about it anymore. So placing a four on there is going to be very useful, but of course it's a question of if we can do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So wow. this round... Shall I roll? What's that? Do, do we roll this round or is it not oh, this Oh, we do need to roll. Yep, you're absolutely yep. right. All right. It's a two. two. So that's two, okay. three, and four. So two, three, four. Okay, well, that's not terrible. I don't really care about this tile anyhow. This guy, it's a little sad to get him hit. And then, oops. I could keep out here. That guy gets hit as well. Okay, okay. well, that could be worse. Right. So yeah, we've got seven capacity, and I'm happy to transfer some stuff to you if you want it. 
Uh, well, I'm wondering how how did we do on climate? Climate, we're okay. I, I had I had ten climate, and it was power that I was short on. Okay, great. So I'm thinking about getting this this auction tile since that's what we're aiming toward here. Yeah. But it's going to drain a little bit of climate. That's fine. Climate. Um, how much? Two. Okay. Uh, and did you need to borrow anything for that? Nope. Nope. Okay. That was every, but that's, that's is all my money. Well, I think I'm going to spend five of my capacity and I'm going to save two. And I'm going to okay. up my dice. So I've now got ten dice. Yeah, that's a good move. Exactly. Okay. I'm going to ultimately need more dice eventually at some yeah. point as well. So obviously we're we're playing today. I'm playing Germany. You're playing Brazil. Are these the two suggested ones for your first game? No, not necessarily. In fact, okay. uh, so each each country has a different complexity level, and it's not it's not necessarily how much they generate. It's more just how tricky their puzzle is. Okay. Uh, so Germany, the country you're playing, is, is a complexity level two. So it's it's not terrible, but the, but there is some puzzle there. Hopefully, you're, hopefully you're getting a little bit of a mental crunch. Yeah. And then uh, Brazil is a level three. It goes up to level four in complexity. Right. Okay. And how many different nations were there in the game? There, there are eight in in the game in the expansion that you you can get on Kickstarter. Right. right. Now. Okay. Yeah. So they all work. To I mean, you can see how we're using dice in different ways, and you, know, yeah. you have to unlock yours. So they all work totally differently. Yeah. Yeah. It's like each one has its own little mini game. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So six for six. Four for a four. Four for a one and a three. Okay, right. Um, well, the six is obviously going in there. Nice. Uh, the one is going in there. Which is roll the new die into storage, yep. Okay. Um, so I will spend the three on there. No. Uh, let me know if you need any dice. Okay. Four is going to go on there. I'm going to combine the five and the one into a six. And I'm going to spend a six to buy a six. Uh, you don't happen to have a four, do you? Uh, I can use the five to buy a four, so yep, there's a four. That would be, unless oh. you desperately needed it. Well, are we going to resolve the oh, meteor strike? that's a good point. Yeah, maybe put the four there and then uh, I, can, I can work something else out. If you then uh, have... Uh, Uh, a three or I have a, a six. Five. Uh, no, just a six. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. What I'm going to need to do here is well, that's fine. I'll do that. This guy over. That guy going. Yeah. There we go. So uh, Renier is in the chat. He says on Kickstarter, the game uh, contains 42 disaster cards, disaster cubes and disability tokens. More than enough to ensure that you have a really bad day aboard the ISS. <laughs> <laughs> That's our goal. All right. Um, all right are you out of dice? I, I have a four in storage, but nothing to yeah. buy it with. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's count it up. See how we did. Okay. So six of those. Six of those. Uh, that's four power. That's another two power. So six of those. Uh, that is. Six minus three, so that's three. One, two, three. And then that is 
8 climate. Okay, so I have got a 7 and an 8. Okay, I have a 6 and a 7, but we do have one in the middle, which yeah. is great, so we can get 7. Put that on the 6, that gives us 7. 7 added to the 2 that I had left over from last time is 9 capacity. Nice. Okay. Okay. Now, is this meteorite strike, is that is that resolved then? It is resolved, yeah. Thanks so, for placing that 4 there. We don't have to worry about done. that card anymore, but unfortunately we do need to worry about this one. All right, damage supplies. Hit all tiles that produce nutrition. This is going to trigger every round again, so we can prevent it by placing a dice one through three here. Mm -hmm. uh, we can resolve it by each player destroying an active tile. So it's, it's going to trigger right now no matter what, so let's just yep. do that. So it's going to hit this guy, and it's going to hit this guy. And now we can discuss if we feel up to resolving it or if we just want to prevent it. Yeah, I mean, my plan was to use this ability of the power to transfer some of these black cubes over here to destroy this and then replace it with a better one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you've got one that's really badly damaged, it might be worth... Yeah, so I have one that, that's pretty ready to go. Oh, it's each player destroys one active tile. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could just keep preventing it. Yeah, I mean, that, that is going to become a dice sink if we do that. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not terrible, it's just one die, but yeah. that is one die we have to worry about. I think go with preventing it. I can get rid of. Um, well, as I say, I was, I was going to heal one of your things to get rid of this one. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I think, I think maybe prevent it for a couple of turns until I realize that was the wrong decision, <laughs> and then we'll resolve it. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. So, yeah, if you're happy, which of these do you want to heal? Do you want to heal the really badly damaged one? Uh, yeah, well, actually, let me look. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. So we transfer those damage cubes. Oops, not that. Let's lock that in place. There you go. Yeah, so they get transferred to that. That then gets destroyed. Oh, so I should point out the reason... Um, this center console wasn't locked initially is because you can't actually upgrade the center console. Oh, okay. Uh, when you do, what it does is the, the docking modules now become more flexible. You have spots that say, uh, you know, that you can exchange a dice and when you do, the receiver gets a dice equal to the dice you place or plus one. Oh, okay. Or plus two. So, so, so it gives you a little bit of flexibility where, you know, if I really need a four and you only have a three, you're like, hey, no problem. Let me put it here on this spot, and now you have a four to work with. Right. And how do we upgrade it? So it just costs five. It's like it's like oh, right. okay. tile. Uh, right. So I five. was gonna. I've got nine. I was gonna spend nine on something big and tasty. <laughs> um, and I do have three more if you need more. Well, there is a ten. Yeah, absolutely. If you need one. Okay. Yeah. I'm happy to borrow one. Go right uh, ahead. It does reduce the climate down, though. Yeah, the, the, tier three, you start hitting yourself a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that, that's fine. I'll do that. So I'll, I'll take one off you, and I will take this 10, and I'll put it in... Yeah, so that one's gone, hasn't it? That's the one that got destroyed. Put it in there. There you go. Okay. Um, so that's my capacity spent, and I think that's it. All right, very good. Let's uh, let me shuffle these around a little bit here. Put that there. Put that there. So, is there a hard limit on the number of rounds before the game is over? There is. Um, so, if we so this this disaster deck yeah. is a finite number of cards. You can see we're almost to level three now, so it's going to get worse. Um, if we run out of those. Then, yeah, we, we would die as well. Right. But usually, by the time you get into those level four cards, they're doing their job. Yeah. Um, okay, now, did I just drop the climate down by two? I did not. One, two. I mean, you can always check that the dial is on the correct thing. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. You can just you can just kind of recalculate it if, if you need to. Um. 
or can you? No, we can't because something's got destroyed. Uh, so I think in both cases, the ones you destroyed were starting tiles, which have no True, drain. but yeah. And you, you, know, you could always look through those as well if you needed to. Yeah. If you really needed to calculate it back. So climate is down by four, which is correct because of that and that. Uh, oxygen is down by two. Food is down by two. And then power is down by two because we transferred two of it over to the oxygen, I think. Right. So oxygen should be at its normal starting one. It, it did get hit by one because of a disaster card. Oh, right. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, Scott's saying you actually need to destroy the module. Yes. There you go. I did. Right. Okay. I think we're ready to go. All right. Let's do it. Ten dice. Roll away. Okay. okay. So spend six to get a six. Um, Spend a three to get a three. Use the six on there, obviously. Roll a new die. Okay. Next. Spend a four, get a four. Um, Spend a three, put it in there. Roll the new die. Oh, that was a flip. Okay, it is a one. Spend a three to get a two and a one. Put the one on there or on there. Roll the new die. Okay. Uh, spend a two on there. Roll a new die. All right, I do have a six if you need it. Um, don't forget, we do need to prevent this cards. Oh, we did resolve it. Okay, never mind. Uh, oh yeah, but we've got this new one. We got the damage supplies. I think that's yeah. the one we resolved. Yeah, because we each destroyed it. No, we didn't destroy a tile. No, 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 no. We it's do need this to one. place a one through three on there. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll sort that out. That's fine. Okay. And so um, I have a six, but if you have a Four, that'd be great. Uh, uh, yeah. Yep. You you can have a four. Perfect. There you go. Have a four. Okay. And you're you giving me a six, are you? Yeah, if you need it, sure. Okay. Well, I'll I'll keep it here, and if I don't need it, I can pop it back. Absolutely. So, spend a two to buy a two. Use the two, put it on there. Roll another die. Spend a three to get a three. Uh, use the three to prevent that. Great. Um, okay, I guess I'll spend a six to get a three and then put the three on there, not using the ability. And then I'm going to put a six in. Ah, now we have two sixes. We could. No, we've got one six. Right. If you don't have a spare six, I guess we can't partially unlock tier four. No, no, it's, yeah. it's all or nothing. I'll just put a six in the middle. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, now, uh, for next round, if you end up with a spare one, I think we're ready to start this mission. I think auction should be doing pretty well right now. Okay, okay. But let's add it up and see if that's true. Right, so six of them and six of them. And I've got four power there, followed by another four power there. So one, two, three, four. Uh, that is seven climate, I believe. And then what's this one? This orbital propellant depot. It's power equal to the value of the dice multiplied by three. Right. So that's nine power. That's that's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have diverted two more power to oxygen. Uh, I mean, right now we're doing fine. Yeah, well, I, I think I'll definitely that. do it though, because I'm planning on increasing. Uh, if I can get a three in there every turn, that's nine power. Right. So yeah, that's that's really solid. 
Yeah, okay. I'm I'm unfortunately on four. Uh, that's fine because my nutrition was on four as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, one in the middle, so that doesn't help. So we are on four capacity. Yep. Oh, dear. How many? How, yeah, it's because we lost the climate and I didn't boost the climate. Now, okay, so any round that we make less than five capacity, we can choose to flip over one of these emergency resupply cards over here. Oh, okay. This little deck that's been hiding out. Yeah. Um, if we do, it will give us a boost in some way. The downside is that uh, it, ha it has a risk associated with it. Each <laughs> card has an icon on it. And if you look over here on these mission cards, or sorry, on the disaster cards, you see there's an icon in the bottom, bottom right-hand yep. side. If the icons ever line up, something bad will happen. Mm. So, you know, we may or may not want to do it. I mean, right now I'm doing okay on capacity. I have six. I think and, we're okay. Oh, and, and I did unlock, so I got to 14 oxygen, ah. uh, which is enough to unlock my bonus. So one of us is going to gain four capacity. So I could give that capacity to you if you like, and uh, and then you could you know uh, try and, and do something for your climate, and I can I have enough that I can try and do something for my nutrition. Yeah, yeah. If you can, that'd be great. Yeah. So yeah. So you take that four capacity. I'll, I'll take the four that capacity. That bonus. Yeah. And because those bonuses are one time. Yeah. I'm uh, gonna and spend, then I'm gonna spend five. Seven. Upgrade this guy. There we go. Uh, are you okay dropping nutrition down by two? Uh, if not, I, I can upgrade. Nutrition was my low one. Okay. Instead of doing that, I will upgrade something. Now on that one, you'll note that it goes from one dice slot to two dice slots. Yeah. And and you're gonna make climate equal to each for each die you place on there. Plus three. Yeah. So right. So like you know if you put if you put two threes on there, each die is gonna be worth six. Yeah. So yeah. Well, you know I could generate an awful lot of climate. Yeah, that's good. So I've just upgraded that. That costs five. I've got three capacity left. We're good to go. Okay. Uh, oh, I was gonna put two power into the oxygen. Okay. Uh, you're okay on power there? Yep. Let's do it. Famous last words. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, and hopefully we can start the mission this this time around as well. Because I think, I think we're pretty good. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Off we go. Oh, right. So spend a six to get a six. Spend a six to get. No, spend a six to get a three. That was a three. A two. Uh, and a one. Right, now then, let's put the six into here. Uh, and that gets me to re-roll the new dice. Okay, that's a two, that's fine. Um, so I'm gonna put that three into there. Roll the new dice into storage. Nice, okay. Um, I'll spend a one on there. Roll the new dice into storage. Okay. Um, I'll spend the four to buy three ones. Okay, I'm going to use one of the ones on the damaged supplies. Okay. Did we get a new disaster? Uh, you know what? I don't think we did. <laughs> I don't think we did. That was my bad. We probably should draw. We better do that real quick. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay. So we're gonna roll a disaster dice one time. We're gonna hit all tiles equal to disaster dice, disaster dice yep. plus one and plus two. For each tile hit, add one to the nutrition drain. Oh, this is gonna okay. smash our nutrition. So I've rolled and I rolled a four. So that's four, okay. five, and six. We're gonna slide this out of the way. So thankfully five misses. 
Oops. Six hits both of those. Neither of those are nutrition. All right, and it's going to hit four as well. Yep. Okay. All right, and then for each tile hit, add one to the nutrition drain. So we hit three tiles. That oh, could be a lot worse. whether it's nutrition or not. Right, okay. Right. <clears throat> okay. Ouch. Okay. Okay. So I've sorted that out. I'm also putting a one over here, if that's okay. Yeah, I think we're okay with that. Okay, we just need to generate oxygen. Uh, okay, so how are we doing climate? That is going to be six of each. That is going to be four power. And that's going to be nine power. So that's six, 10, 19 power. So that's going to be a net of 10 power. Okay, I'm just going to put this on there to track that so we need more climate my climate is currently six okay so we definitely need more climate <clears throat> but i need threes and fours ah, i don't have threes and fours um so we can do this i can put dice into storage so i can put a one into there and that re-rolls this there you go three nice um i put a two into there I can re-roll that. Okay, so that's another four power. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, I got loads of power. Got too much power. Um, I actually have a three. Yeah, um, I could I could do with a three. Yeah, here you go. Thank you. That goes in there. That allows me to combine two dice, but I'm not going to. I then spend a five to buy another three, which goes into there. So that is a net 12 on the climate. So one, two, three, and that puts me up to nine. Uh, right, I've got a six to buy a six. I have a two. I have a two and a six spare. Can you make use of them at all? Uh, no, I'm I'm pretty good, so I think just drop them in the middle. Yeah. And you're saying that they both have to be used on the same one? They do, yes. All to any one resource. Okay, yeah. Right, All I think right. we're good. So, disaster first or add up the things uh, so first? Let's count it up first, figure out what our capacity is, then we'll flip over the, the okay. disaster card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 23, yeah, so 14 power. Oh, one off. Am I one off? Now you see this coloured square on the power says 15, but down here it says yeah, 14. Unfortunately, so that was a uh, mistake what we made. So it is 14 is the right number. Okay. You're doing some balance adjustments. Well, I've hit 14. All right. What, what's your ability? Uh, one player can upgrade a tile for free. Hey, that's not bad. Uh, what do you want to upgrade? Um, Oxygen. And we don't have to use that right now. We can... We can hold off and see if we want to buy something and then immediately upgrade it. You know, oh, we right. have okay. we got some flexibility. Okay. All right. And so you've, have you added up both yours? I have. I've got nine and 14. Okay. Uh, my lowest is nutrition because it got, got hammered a little bit. It's at five. So if we push these two into nutrition, yeah. we'll be at seven. Okay. Nice. That's not seven bad. onto the three is 10. Okay. All right, and um, we, so we did, so I was able to feed the oxygen, uh, so we can start recycling these vents. We've not done so the disaster though, have we? So up to a two. And so as soon as that dice gets to four, we win. Yeah. But of course we have to survive that long. Yeah, so we need a, we need a disaster this turn. Yep, so let's slide this card up, because it's still yep. going. We'll flip this guy here. Oh, we got another persistent one. Okay, hit all tiles, just flat out. Everybody's gonna <coughs> hit. Uh, we can prevent it with any two dice. We can resolve it by each player downgrading their dice track. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's not so bad, but... Yeah, Everything sure gets hit. Smash through our tiles here. Oh, in fact, I was slightly cheating because that should have been... Okay, yeah, sorry, cheated. 
that should have been one less and another one less and that should be one less yeah it's fine it didn't change the capacity that we got okay um yeah i forgot two of my things were damaged okay uh isn't the center console number of dice plus one shouldn't jeff's fives have become an eight uh it's optional oh oh the center console no so so it's plus one for each dice so each dice can add one to whatever we push it into oh right it's not the number of dice plus one it's each dice right. is one extra right okay exactly there we go john thank you for the question yeah, good question. And you can see why Heiko Gunther is so useful. He'll, he'll help fix these kind of things. <laughs> yep. Right. Okay. So we're spending capacity. I've got 10. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, remember, if, if we're going to transfer some stuff over to something that's then going to get destroyed, we can do that. Okay. Um... Like, if I can take the damage off one of your oxygen generators? Yeah, I mean, do you have a tile that you can, that you're not worried about anymore? Um... I mean, kind of, maybe you need them all. Well, I'm doing all right for power. So I'm, I'm happy to lose this photovoltaic relay, if okay. you want to transfer some damage across to that. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Okay, and then I'll just um, I'll just get rid of it. Okay. So let's drop all these back in the bag. There you go. That helps out a lot. Um, all right, so now we do have this unraveling shield disaster card that we can choose to resolve right now by downgrading our dice track. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. Yeah, let's do that, and then that's okay. fine because I can just spend and re-upgrade it. So that's gone. All right, very good. Right, so I've got 10 capacity. Um, uh, I'm thinking of spending seven capacity. Okay. So I've got three spare if you need it. Oh no, hang on, no. Ooh. I'm going to take this. This costs right. nine, so I, I have one spare capacity if you need it. No, I'm I'm good. Okay, I'll save that one. So that reduces the power down by two. Okay. I think I'll still be all right for power, he says. <laughs> we'll find out. We will find out. We will find out indeed. Yeah, power drain is now 11. Oh, yeah, it's, it's starting to get... A little toasty in here. Yeah. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are we ready? I'm ready. Okay, next round. Let's go. Roll them bones. So I'll spend a six, which was a six. buy six and obviously put the six on that one. Oh, it's damage yeah it's damage is gonna hurt a lot and how did you say you heal damage uh, so you can spend five capacity to take one cube off <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's not something you want to spend a lot of time doing yeah uh, I desperately need a three, so I'm going to spend a five and a four to buy a six and a three. Put the three on there. Now, this damage cube, is that before the multiplier or after? It's going to be after. Yeah, so okay. each, each damage cube is off the total of whatever it produces. Right. Okay, that's good. Oops. Uh, right, so the six. Oh, I need low numbers. 
Okay. Oh dear. Uh, have you got any low numbers? I'll swap them here for big numbers. Uh, I think so. One second. Let me see. I. You need low numbers. Yeah. Uh, how? What? What? What can you get me back? I guess is the question. I uh, three, I've got a six, four. or a yeah, four. Yeah, give you a three for a six. Yep. All right. Well, I'll give you a six. Yeah, take that three there. And I get a three. Thank you. Then I use the three to go on there, which re-rolls that. Please be low. Yeah, okay. Then I spend a six for a four and a two. Then I use the two to go on here, which allows me to take a die from storage. So I just take that one. And then I've got two fours, which I will put on here. Okay, so I said we uh, have a spare two if you need one. Um, uh, we could probably put it on no, the damage actually, supplies. I'll, it, yeah, I'll drop it on this card. Here. Yeah. Yep. Keep keep kicking that count down the road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a little worried about the power that I said would be absolutely fine. Because <laughs> I forgot about the damage Let's cubes. Yeah. yeah uh, apparently, should I not have nine dice? Uh, well, I should only uh, have eight. Yeah, but you might have had. I mean, you have. Do you have any tiles that that generate dice? Oh, I've got loads that generate dice, but um, yeah, I've just seen the message in the chat saying Scott saying, "Shouldn't you have nine dice?" I don't know if that's referring to me or you. Um, if it was me. I did upgrade my dice last round, but it was after we downgraded to get rid of that disaster. Yeah. Thing. So, so I only have seven. Okay. Right then, let's add things up. So okay. this is six of each, but it's actually four of each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Next is this one, which is four minus two. So that's two power. Gulp. Oh, this is okay. This is nine minus one. This is eight power. Okay, yeah. So we're not we're, we're not dead, but I've messed up the power thing. <laughs> Definitely messed up the power thing. Well, it's climate. We've got a bazillion climate. Um, we've got eight there. Um, so is this is this because this has got one damage on here? Is this four plus three minus one, and then another four plus three minus one? No, so it's only minus one, so minus one off the off, off the, total. the total total right so that's that's 13 plus wow. eight here is yeah 22 climate okay Woo. yeah so I've, I've got the climate up to 17 which is a bonus <laughs> that air conditioning is just humming yeah 17 climate three power <laughs> oops okay. we're, we're still alive we are all right uh, good news is i was able to feed uh this Mission cards, we're at three, okay. so we only need to survive one more round. Nice. So we're doing pretty good. All right, so we get three capacity. Three capacity. And now my let's... climate ability has increased, which says decrease the drain of any one resource by two. You want to hit? You want to do that on power? I think so. All right, go right ahead. <laughs> I mean, power's, power's been taken. It's the least we can do. One, two. Okay. All right, next disaster card. Core meltdown. Oh, this is lovely. Hit all tiles that produce power. <laughs> For each tile hit, add one to the power drain. Okay, so that uh, gets hit. This is also a persistent card, so we can prevent it by placing uh, a dice four through six on here, or we can resolve it by each player destroying one tile. Okay, so I have, I have damaged three tiles that produce power. Okay. Which means this goes one, two, three. Okay. That is not good. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I mean, we just need to survive one more round. That's right. And supply 10 oxygen. So, yeah. I mean, luckily for oxygen, that disaster didn't, didn't affect oxygen at all. So, as long as I can have some, you know, workable dice, 
I'll be okay for oxygen next round. Yeah. Uh, but it's a question of how you're feeling about power. Yeah, the problem is my really, really nice power generator uh -huh. has suddenly now got two damage cubes on it. Oh, but even still, that that's still... No, that's still seven power. Do you have enough capacity you could upgrade that tile? Uh, no, I'm one short. Okay, let me. I'll transfer you one. Okay. Yeah, some. good idea. I forgot that the improved ones can can be upgraded. Uh, okay, you that's actually no. To do, of course, because ah, I can put a four in it now. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's cross our fingers. Okay. I think we can do it. We'll oh. find out. Yeah, so uh, you know, keep in mind, like, like I mentioned up top, this is this is kind of just a, a practice game. Yeah. Here. Uh, in a real game, you have to finish three of these missions in the same <laughs> <amount of> time. <laughs> so unless anyone on the, on the chat thinks it's too easy. You know, I wouldn't want that. No, no, no. I mean, is it going to be in the rule book that your first game should just be with one mission? Yeah, in fact, and this is a bit of a sneak peek because we haven't officially announced this yet, but there's going to be um, a specific disaster that's kind of your first mission. We're going to yeah. call it the, the, the you know, training. And, uh, you know, it will, it will have one mission and it will have a bit of kid gloves. Yeah. Know? I mean, I, I fully agree with tutorials for rule books, especially ones where it's a, a brain burning puzzle. Right, right. So. You should do another scenario as well for the uh, hidden in a secret envelope for those people who can complete the game and think it's too easy. <laughs> Call it the uh, the Kobayashi Maru and just put it in there and. That's right. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. Right. Okay. All right. Let's roll. You've got a dice on the damage supplies that can come off, can't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure enough. There we go. Right. Here we go. Last round. Uh, am I right in thinking that? We can't just take a, a round's rest on this. That's, you are correct. Yeah. Okay. Once you start that, you're you're going. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, right. The five is going out to buy the. Oh no! Hang on. I need low numbers there, don't I? Right, we're going to spend the five to buy a three and a two. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to spend the six to buy the four and the two. And the four is going on there. Roll two new dice into storage. Okay. Boom and boom. Okay. Uh, the two is going on there, which is take a die from storage. So I'll take the five. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to prevent the core meltdown. Okay, I'll prevent the... Okay. Uh, the damage supplies. That's good. We're all good there. Um, I'll spend a five to buy a three. I have a four if you need it. In fact, let's buy a, spend a five and a one to buy a three and a three. Um, I might be okay for the moment. Okay. Yeah, just let me know. That's going to go on there. Can combine two dice in storage. You don't need to. And then spend a five to buy a five, which goes on there. Okay. I think I'm done. All right. All right. So, you, okay, I'll drop this four in the middle. Yep. Oops. Weird things are happening. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. And we're adding up. Yeah, let's add it up. So this is five minus three, so that's two on each. One, two. One, two. I'm nervous. I'll tell you that. Oh, I didn't put anything on here. Never mind. It would have only been one power anyway. <laughs> so, okay. That's fine. 
Um, that is eight climate, no penalties. So that goes on to there. Uh, okay, so this is four, multiplied by three is 12, minus two is 10, so that's 10 power. Yes, nice, got us out of that. Okay. Only just, <laughs> <laughs> only just, and then this is, this is more climate again. Uh, did we forget to do the climate bonus? No, we didn't, we did the climate bonus. How do you track, by the way, that you've used the climate bonus? Uh, for right now, you just drop a little black cube on it. In, okay. the, in the final version, there'll be a much more elegant yeah. solution. Okay, so yeah, that has been done. Um, and yeah, this is 6 plus 6 is 12, minus 1, 11. Yeah, I've gone overboard again on the climate. It's, it's tricky balancing them, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah it's part okay, of well, so I've got a 12 and a 0. <laughs> But hey, we zero, we don't need any capacity because this is the last round. That's right, and I made enough to uh, feed this, so we're at four, which means we have successfully recycled the vents and saved the day from this meteor shower. So I don't want to um, rain on the bonfire. Do we have to do a disaster card first? We don't. No. Hey. No, we we made it. We did. We have survived. Okay. There you go. Now. In the normal game, there would be three missions. Let's just have a look at some of the other missions, if Absolutely. we were playing with three. So we might have to eat up more climate. Uh, this one here is interesting. This one is going to consume the resource of one active tile from each player for three rounds. So each round you can pick a tile, and that tile just does nothing. Wow. Uh, yeah, so there'd be three, three in the game. And there, there's, there's a bunch in the game. These are just r three at random that were shoved yeah. in here. Well, I'll be honest with you, one of them seemed a challenge. Obviously, it was my first time playing. You will get you will get better at it. Mm -hmm. You're the designer, so you're telling me that three is okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, three, and in fact, uh, when I play with, with my group that we play this a lot, we play with five. Right. Because um, we're, we're crazy nuts that way. <laughs> yeah. It's nice that you can customise. I, I mean, I, I'm a big fan of games where you can customise the difficulty, um, because otherwise... Once you've learned, once you've know how to do it, you're like, okay, we've done that now. Um, right. Whereas in this one, if you if you're now playing on five, and that's a challenge for you, then it, it's good that you've got that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And this this is definitely a game with with a pretty good learning curve. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know if I even I've hit the ceiling yet on it because there are little intricacies of oh, if I do this, then I can do this. This lets me do that. You know, there's, there's mm. a lot going on. Yeah, I mean, I like the fact that you've got eight completely asymmetric fractions and I've only played Germany so I, I now understand how Germany works but the whole rolling dice into storage and then having to buy them from storage that is only for the Germans is that right? That, that's right that's, yeah, okay. only Germany works that way. Right yeah so there's obviously because in a lot of games like this you might have some slight asymmetric powers but you've got the way it actually manipulates the dice is different. Right yeah so, so yeah so it's not just asymmetric powers this is you know, fully asymmetric, like your specific mechanic of how you manipulate your dice is yeah. unique to you. Yeah. Uh, let, let me give you an example of one, uh, which I think is really fun. Unfortunately, you can't even do it on Tabletopia. The mechanic is, is so unique. <laughs> right. Um, which is how Japan works. So when they roll their dice, they need to lock them in the orientation that, that as they're rolled. And then they have uh, tiles that let them manipulate them in 3D space, meaning you pick up a dice and then you rotate it and perhaps you rotate it away from you and then whatever is the new face on that dice is what you have to work with. Right. And then perhaps you rotate it to the left and then you know you, you tilt it and then you have that <laughs> dice. And so they're physically moving dice in 3D space trying to get to certain numbers. Right. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, it's, so it gets pretty wild. Yeah. Now, now I'll be honest with you. As I say, I, I was sort of turned on to this game by basically seeing a picture of it. And I thought, oh, <laughs> there's dials, there's cubes. It's sci-fi. That looks like the kind of game I wanted to play. At that point, I didn't even know it was cooperative. Um, but this is exactly the kind of game that, that I like. I mean, yeah, the puzzle aspect is really good. The fact that there's all these asymmetric powers, you're working together for a challenge. Yeah, this is, yeah. So when did you first start designing this game? Uh, this game has been quite a while in the, in the making, um, probably about two, a little more than two years ago. Right, okay. Which, and your initial inspiration <laughs> came from mechanics or the theme? Uh, yeah, good question. So initially it was the mechanics, and, yeah. we were toy and, and initially it was more of a city builder, uh, kind of a cooperative city builder, but um, 
But we started kicking around different themes, and the idea was suggested that you know we take it into space. And at first, I was really hesitant on that idea because there are right. so many space games. Yeah. You know, and, and I just didn't want to get lost in the shuffle. But then we started talking about, well, what if it was the International Space Station? And I love yeah. that idea, and it really hits the theme well. Where if you don't make these resources, that's it. It's game yeah. over for you. So I think I think it's a fantastic theme. I think it fits it really well, and I th I think it's great that we can talk about the diversity that is the International Space Station, where you yeah. have countries from all over the world working together. Yeah. And and I think the game really reflects that, where we have you know common countries like like Germany and the UK, but we also have countries that you don't see in tabletop games very often. Like Brazil, like Brazil, Malaysia, yeah, you know, and I think it's cool to have that kind of representation. Yeah, and this is, you know, without drifting into a, a politics discussion, the, this is one of the things that, obviously, with the recent coverage of the International Space Station with the SpaceX launch and everything else, mm -hmm. um, and I've always been interested in science fiction ever since I was a kid. But with all of the stuff that's going on in the world, and you've got, you know, Russia and America, and they're at each other's throats and everything else. When it comes to this they're still cooperating and then yeah, launching exactly. rockets from each other's things. And you think, well, hang on a minute. <laughs> you know, you two are like fisticuffs over everything, yet you're able to put those differences aside for, for something like this. I just find that fascinating in terms of world politics, how this sort of stuff still brings everybody together. Yeah, it, it's so true. and It really is amazing. And I think, you know, for as much as a, the International Space Station is a technical, technological marvel, it's it the unification it did for the whole world is just outstanding it's amazing yeah so while we're while we're live streaming just before we finish things off hopefully the kickstarter page is about to come up on screen now um you have 3744 backers that's amazing. quite impressive <laughs> i'm not complaining <laughs> <laughs> so a question that i always like to ask people and feel free not to answer this if you don't want to um, how many backers were you expecting? Uh, you know, it, it, it's, it was kind of a quirky game. It, it was definitely outside of the other games I've done in the past. So I was not expecting this kind of reception yeah. by, by any hand, you know? Yeah. So, so this is, this is fantastic. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, 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 it's done really well. So yeah, here is the Kickstarter page. Kickstarter closes in 54 hours time. We, we, we have lost the day's countdown. We're now down to hours. So yeah, 54 hours time. And what are people going to get if they back it now rather than waiting? Yeah, so the big thing you're getting is the expansion for free. So the base game right. comes with four nations and two disasters. If you back it, we're, we're including the expansion for free, which is a $30 value, right? Uh, which gives you four more nations, doubles the amount of, of asymmetric countries to play with. And yeah. it gets you a whole new disaster. Right. Okay. So that's because obviously a lot of people say, oh, there's no point backing it. I'll just pick it up at retail. That's why. So the, the expansion will be available later. But yeah, so the, the, nothing here is Kickstarter exclusive, I should say. Yeah. Um, but but you are saving quite a bit of, of money because, you know, that really is a $90 value you're getting for $60. Yeah. Cool. Right. And yet there's more information on the Kickstarter if you're interested. But I think today, I think you've seen. You've seen obviously a, a, a you've seen how the game plays, but obviously we were playing one mission. Um, you would normally play with three missions, and you've seen two of the factions. You've seen Germany, and you've seen Brazil, and you've seen how they play differently. Although we didn't quite see what you were doing, but you were you were unlocking your own tiles, weren't you? Right, right, yeah. So my tiles start start locked, and I need to kind of work through getting them unlocked so I can use them. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Now you are on again in about an hour's time. Is that right? Yeah, I have another one with with actually the Tabletopia folks. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you want to watch it again or you, you know you, you missed the first half, stick around. Now, what type of game are you doing? Are you doing a two player or three player? This will be a three player. You're going to do a three player game. So you've seen a two player game. If you want to see the three player game, uh, that will be on the table, Tabletopia's Twitch channel in about an hour from now. And you can tell them about, about the problem with the dice because they're, they're going <laughs> to... Yeah, hopefully they'll, they'll have some solutions for us. If they, if they can fix that quickly, then that would be good. Uh, and you've now got 3,745 backers. So <laughs> well, look there we the go. Well, stream's already doing its job. Amazing. Yeah, cool. Right. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited about this game. This is definitely one that I'm going to uh, delve into once it arrives. So, yeah, thank you very much, Jeff. Okay, thank you very much.
Right, thank you very much for watching. Uh, and as mentioned at the start, uh, this was not a sponsored video. So thank you very much to all of my patron supporters that are effectively giving me the time to be able to, uh, yeah, re you know, do, do things that I wouldn't normally be able to do. So yeah, thank you very much for supporting me on Patreon. If you like the content that I make, yeah, please consider supporting me. Other than that, I'll say goodbye. Thank you very much. And I will see you again soon. Cheers all. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.